What's up, everybody? Thank you for tuning in. We've got some exciting news to start things off. So first of all, we are only two subscribers away from cracking into our Hidden Fates Elite Trainer Box. Again, two subscribers away. We are so close, I can almost taste it. So is that even how that saying goes? So close, I can almost... Anyway, well, today I'm going to show you like one recent pickup. There hasn't been a ton of like astonishing breakthroughs. I do have another pickup that I could show you, but I'm going to hold off on that. So we're going to show off one card that I picked up, a few cards I'm considering expressing to CGC, and then at the end we'll open up a pack, okay? So first and foremost, let's get started. I finally grabbed the Shiny Scyther from Hidden Fates. This is one that for whatever reason I've just dragged my feet um, on regarding like picking it up. I found this card for I think like four or five dollars, so I felt comfortable buying it at that price, so... Now, I did think that this was my second to last Scyther card for my like TCG art set collection. However, I knew that I still needed the EX Team Rocket Return Scyther, but I also need the Stormfront Scyther. So there's actually still two left that I haven't bought yet. So there's that. I'm pretty excited to be so close to um, one of my original collection goals. Next up, I have four cards that I'm considering expressing to CGC, but I will express my reservations prior to that and you know i would actually love to hear your guys' opinions in the comment section below um i just you know getting to a different perspective sometimes is helpful so i'll just show you one by one so first of all i think that you've seen this champions festival card before it's like cameos and shorts and things like that so this is the 2019 champions festival it's not the staff card or um any kind of like top 32 plus um it's just the standard um, World Championships pack um, promo. So this card saver is pretty dusty, but based on the 2015 Pro Champions Festival card that I got back recently from CGC, that graded an 8. This card is much cleaner, so I fully expect this to grade like a CGC 9, 8.5 if they're really feeling grouchy, but this will definitely be above an 8, which I'm pumped for. So heavily considering grading this with CGC via the Express tier as well as the next few cards. So next up is going to be a Rayquaza EX from EX Dragon. This is Rayquaza's rookie card. Um, I think that this will become more of like a key card over time. Um, you guys know I was buying these a while ago. Um, you know, whenever I could find a good deal, I kept my cost average on both of these below 100 bucks. So that's pretty great. They're both in decent condition. I expect them to grade like an 8 or better. This one has some edgeware at the top, and then obviously both card savers are pretty dusty. So overall, I'd say that this one is in better condition, but the centering is worse. This one has better centering, but a little bit more whitening. The surfaces on both of these are almost spotless, though, which is surprising because they're so much hollow. But again, these are two cards I'm considering expressing to CGC, but I'm also not sure if they would do better at PSA. So, but I don't want to send them for 200 bucks a piece at PSA. So that's a maybe. Again, that's one of the things that I would like your opinion on. I feel pretty com pretty confident and comfortable sending this to CGC. These two I'm questioning. And the last card is a new pack Japanese card. It is like pack fresh other than dust in the, on the card saver, not in the card saver, thank goodness. Those scratches are also on the card saver. But this is the Pikaram, so Pikachu and Zekrom tag team alternate art. So in English, we just got this as a tin promo. Um, so it's a pretty cheap card in English, but the pull ratio for this card in Japanese from the set SM9 is pretty difficult. So naturally, it's a more expensive card in Japanese. Pikachu and Zekrom was like a super popular deck in the TCG meta for a very long time, and I think it's still being used and expanded now that it's rotated out. So I think that, well, also we're getting the gold version of this in um, a collector's box for some reason in 2021, so... This is a pretty great card. I think that like the rarity, the difficulty to pull, the fact that it's like got so much, like so much in terms of like iconic value, like Pikachu obviously is super popular. This was a very popular deck run in the meta for an extended period of time. So I think this is a great card. I think I could right now sell it for about 250 bucks raw. However, um, when you take into consideration like people's concerns about authenticity, um, truly judging the condition because obviously one person's near mint is very different from another person's near mint. It might be 
easier to sell graded just so for like transparency's sake um but we'll see i mean i could probably sell this faster raw especially right now because there's a lot of eyes on modern jap modern-ish japanese so i'm not really sure what to do with this one i'd love to hear your guys's opinions in the comment section down below again do you guys think that these would do better at cgc or psa and do you think that this card I should grade? I mean, it's probably a 250 or well, conservatively, we'll say like a $200 card. Usually if a card's over a hundred, I'll grade it. But, you know, I think I could liquidate this pretty fast. So I'm very interested to hear your opinions in the comment section down below. Thank you in advance. Last but not least, I'm trying to keep it short, but let's get into just one single Chilling Rain pack. So yesterday was the release for Evolving Skies. Um... Oh, here's one of those hollow packs that Rusty from TCA Gaming is always talking about. These are pretty common, actually, so... But anyway, um, I did not luck out and find any Evolving Skies in the wild. Um, I did have, like, my wife check in between her work shifts and things like that, and I checked after I got off of work as well. But no luck. Um, hopefully some of you got... Hopefully some of you guys got lucky. We do have a booster box on its way. It should be here, like, Monday, I think. So... You know, you might see some openings from that where we may just open it privately with ourselves. But either way, um, also, I think, what is that? Oh, maybe it was just like condensation for my finger. But um, I will say before I get into this that last night GameStop had a bunch of the Evolving Skies blister packs up for sale for MSRP, obviously. So if you want to, you could probably try to snag one of those. All right, we've got Lucky Energy. Hopefully that pays off. Galarian Chestplate. I love that Flaffy card. I think this is, no, not this card, not this artwork, but Flaffy obviously was in the pre-release kits. Got Blitzel. I've not had any astonishing luck with this set. Last night I did open up a, a Chilling Rain pack and I made a short out of it and I pulled like a Sandaconda VMAX. That's about as good as I've gotten so far. I think I may have pulled Metagross upon release, but nothing really good. That's a really nice Delibird art. I love that. Like the little fire in the background this is definitely reminiscent of christmas time galarian farfetched the old cemetery that's kind of a cool card too i haven't watched many chilling rain openings so these are all still kind of new to me and we've got a volcro to end it off so not the most exciting pull in the world but this set i'm more appreciating now that it's like coming down in price and whatnot as the hype shifts to evolving skies and celebrations but Nonetheless, thank you all so much for tuning in. Again, we are two subscribers away from that Hidden Fate TTB. I would love to be able to open it by the end of this week. So let's try to make that happen. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I look forward to seeing you next time.